Rosemary Mellinson's daughters couldn't wait to share the Route 91 Music Festival with their mom. The tickets, a Mother's Day gift from her oldest daughter, Stephanie. I pulled them by the hand and, and we went all the way up to the front. We were like kids in a candy store. I mean, just so excited. It was a blast. My mom never wears hats. She took my ball cap off, put it on backwards. <laughs> kind of looked cool. And to see her actually going up to the front and letting loose and just enjoying. We were living our best life. At first I thought it was firecrackers. And then I saw bullets hit the tank. I, tank and then I realized, oh my God, those aren't. That's not fireworks, those are bullets, and immediately I was shot. She's face down in the grass, and my first instinct was, my mom's playing it safe, and we're like, Mom, and then she didn't respond. We flipped her over, and that's when we saw she was shot. They were just screaming and screaming, you know, yelling, Mom, Mom. That's how I remember, then I blacked out from there, and I actually had an out-of-body experience. What happened? My body just rose up and I could see my body laying on the ground, and I went to heaven. And it was indescribable, the peace that you felt. But that was told it wasn't my time that I had to go back. When I came to, it was only a matter of a couple seconds, and then I could hear Don, the guy who saved my life, and then I blacked out. I do believe God put everybody at the right place at the right time to save her life. And Don was her guardian angel. Don Matthews was separated from his girlfriend, Karen, as the shots rang out. When he saw Rosemary, his 34 years as a Los Angeles firefighter kicked in. He just kept telling us that we had to leave. We had to get out of here. If we want to live, you got to run. And he said, I promise I will stay with your mom all the way. How hard is that, though, for you to leave your mom there? He just said, I'll take a bullet. I'll take a bullet before I leave my mom. If that's what it means, me staying here, I'm not leaving. Like, you guys don't understand. It's my mom. She's my life. I knew those kids had to leave. It was just a bad spot for them to be in. Reluctantly, the girls fled. Were you ever worried for your own safety? Oh, yeah. With the help of other strangers, Don was able to get Rosemary out of harm's way into a pickup truck. Eventually, she was brought to the hospital. But it would be hours before Rosemary's family found her. It took 11 hours. And it was the hardest 11 hours of my whole life. Rosemary was alive, but the mother of four would not be alert for weeks. I don't think I was expected to live, but I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior. It can't keep me down. I prayed a lot. Cried a lot. At one point, I thought what life would be like without her. In the months that followed, Rosemary's guardian angel, Don, was never far from the Melanson's thoughts. Social media eventually brought them together. On Thanksgiving Day, Don and Steve spoke on CNN. We're waiting for her to get a little bit better, and we're going to get you down here, and we're going to have a big reunion yeah. with you. I'll be and, happy to come. With her. After nine surgeries and six months in the hospital, Rosemary is finally ready for that reunion. What do you want to say to him? Thank you. Without him, I wouldn't be here. No doubt. I'm looking for Rosemary. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. You too. You didn't give me a hug the first time. <laughs> Endless hugs and tears of joy. Rosemary's 89-year-old mother embracing the man who saved her daughter. Did you think that you would see Rosemary again? No. Did you think she'd survive? No. And you're both here together now. So, never give up. Miracles happen. And this one surely did. Rosemarie is expected to make a full recovery and is anxious to get back to her old life. I'm here for a reason. My job is not done. I have no idea what that job is, but I guess I still have work to do.